Welcome to Infone. In this video, we'll break down the heart score, one of the most powerful and practical tools for chest pain risk stratification in the emergency department. Let's get started. Chest pain is one of the most common reasons for ED visits. The challenge? Safely ruling out acute coronary syndrome without over-admitting low-risk patients. That's where the heart score shines, a validated decision tool designed for the ED. Heart is an acronym. H for history, E for ECG, A for age, R for risk factors, and T for troponin. Each is scored from 0 to 2, giving a total score from 0 to 10. The history component relies on clinical judgment. A slightly suspicious history scores 0, moderately suspicious scores 1, and a highly suspicious, typical cardiac history scores 2. ECG is next. If it's completely normal, score 0. Nonspecific repolarization abnormalities get a 1. ST depressions or elevations. That's a 2. Always interpret in clinical context. This one's easy. Patients under 45 get 0. 45 to 64 get 1 point. And those 65 or older get 2. No risk factors? Score 0. 1 or 2 risk factors. Score 1. 3 or more or known atherosclerosis. That's 2. Risk factors include hypertension, diabetes, hyperlipidemia, smoking, obesity, and family history. Use your lab's troponin reference range. If it's normal, score 0. If it's 1 to 3 times the upper limit, score 1. More than 3 times? That's a 2. Most labs now report high sensitivity troponin. Now add it up. 0 to 3? Low risk, consider safe discharge without patient follow-up. 4 to 6 is intermediate risk, consider observation or stress testing. 7 to 10 is high risk, admit and evaluate for ACS. Let's take an example. A 62-year-old male with central chest pain. He's hypertensive and diabetic. ECG shows nonspecific STD changes. Troponin is 1.2 times the upper limit. History scores 2, ECG 1, age 1, risk factors 2, and troponin 1. That totals 7, high risk. He needs to be admitted. The heart score is simple, evidence-based, and helps avoid unnecessary admissions while catching high-risk patients. But remember, no score replaces clinical judgment. Use it as a guide, not a crutch. Thanks for watching Info. If this was helpful, like, subscribe, and share it with your colleagues.